Gonna make a stand for our tools when we're camping for around the barbecue. Which will just be a bar with a couple of hooks sticking out. Sit like that, push it into the into the ground. And when it's not being used for transport, it'll all fold up nice and neat. So first off. Be thinking about. I'll go okay, 31. Wait. Stand here for the bolts. From an old job I had, I've got a heap of these old bolts, so I'm going to use them as our, our hooks sticking out. Very good. Where are we going to put them? We have about 20. Peel again. Weld them on there. That's in there, we'll just weld top and bottom. I'll four or eight. I put a washer on the, the end here on one end, just so that when we slide it over we'll be able to pin it in. There we are, we've welded with that. Let's see what they look like. Smart person would have done this when it was hot. Not that it's very hard to bend anyway. Yep, that'll do me. I'm 
very good. Right, I've just welded this on the end, nice and hot. Got a bolt, which will drop on the end. I'll ground it to fit in there. It'll, it'll tap in, just give my weld around. And that'll spear up through here, through the hole. Yeah. And we'll put a wing nut on there. And then on the other end, which is when that's sitting on there. Put a little rod in there with a point on it to make it easy to push into the ground. Right here. Yeah. So here we go. I've welded the bolt on the end. It's a 5 16 bolt. I've put a bit of solid steel up in the center, welded it, ground it down to a bit of a point. It's not real pointy. And that's that. That'll slot up in there. Your wing nut on, and that'll fit neatly in your box when you take it out, out of the box to use it. And there we go. So that's our finished unit. We'll give my coat of paint. And we'll just stick him in there next to that. And we can hang our barbecue gear on. And when it's windy, you get a wind chimes. So all it needs a coat of paint. Done.